Rich because he's a bit of an enigma. He had eight touchdowns against Texas Tech at 16, yet lost his starting job this past year. There's Dave Gettleman. We talked about the general manager of the Giants with the second overall pick. Um, but this Bellage is a height, weight, speed freak. He's probably going to run sub 4-5. He weighed in at 228. He lost his starting job this year. I didn't see the contact balance. He went down too easily, but he's going to entice people. He's a conversation of production versus potential. Gorsuch is directing traffic of people taking pictures or trying to do their job. He had a good senior bowl week, but I thought underperformed based on his ability. Down this way. And then comes Saquon Barkley with Nick Chubb right behind him. Two of the best we saw on Saturdays and Saturday nights on the college gridiron. I mean, that Iowa tape you were talking about with Saquon Barkley, 211 yards on the ground, 12 catches, 94 in the air. 40 touches for 305. And they needed every last one of it to escape. 21-19 win. Last second. is a great game great game. But the thing I love about Barkley is you watch the Indiana tape, he only had 50-some uh, yards. I think it was 20 carries for 56 yards, but still dominated the football game with kick returns, with catching the football, with pass protections. He's a complete back. I think the NFL will put him in kick returns if he's so valuable. Top of the draft. I don't know if I would. No, right. I think he could find touches without having to expose them to that. All right, first running back 40 of 2018 combine. 446. Four, Just said he's going to be a sub 4 or 5 guy, 228 pounds. That's fast. Now, what would you say would be a good time for Barkley? What do you think? Long, Barkley. Well, they're talking Barkley. about is he going to run sub 4 4? Right. At 233 pounds, I think anything 4 4 5 or lower is outstanding. Top level. If he goes under 4-4, we go back to Rick James. <laughs> I think you're about to, quite frankly. Remember your lean? Your lean foot got to be behind this line right Come here. on, Gorris. Don't make okay. him think too much now. Yeah, you're, you could be. You could tow it all the way up to right here. Okay? You they can't get him coached by someone from Pennsylvania. Yeah. Uh, your lean, sure. That's your lean foot. Okay? This one, yeah. No. Yes, that's your. That's what we call your lead foot. Was his first? Okay, cool. First team All American. Mr. Football in Pennsylvania in 2014. Saquon Barkley, 2018 scouting combine, getting set to run his first. Foot. some linebackers that find having to mark him on a Sunday, Thursday, Monday night. And the only issue out here comes Chubb. There's Chubb from Georgia. The best from the SEC. I think he's one of the toughest players of any position in this draft. 4 five, three. Really solid for him. 29 reps at two and a quarter, then a 4-5-3. Mm -hmm. Two scores in the Rose Bowl against Oklahoma. That was an incredible game, too. Now, it was interesting because his Oklahoma game was huge, but against Alabama, he struggled, yet Sonny Michelle averaged eight yards a carry against Alabama. It really, that Bama tape, I thought, was interesting for both Chubb and for Sonny Michelle. But 4-5-3 at 227 pounds is outstanding. It doesn't look that way because he's behind Barkley. Pack 12 now on the line. Levon Coleman. Strong lower body now. He was listed at 235 pounds at Washington. He weighed in at 215. 466. Yeah, I mean, 
he's he's quicker than he is fast. You can see it on tape. He doesn't have any long speed, but very quick in the hole. Justin Crawford, West Virginia up now. Junior college transfer. Had two big years at West Virginia, both over a thousand yards. Only had eight catches. What what's going to be important for him today, Rich, is to catch the football here and at his pro day. I didn't think he came out particularly well, and no. Four, four six five. Let's get another run coming. Obviously, one of his pro day as well. Are we gonna afford him ram at the line now, like he's interesting. By the way, I mean. Chase Edmonds was recruited to Fordham by coach Joe Moorhead, who then went to coach Barkley at Penn State, became the running backs coach at Penn State, uh, and then went to Mississippi State to be, this year to become their head coach this coming season. So he was coached by Joe Moorhead. He's quick, catches the ball well, about as quick laterally as anybody in this draft. Almost the same height and weight as James White, which I think is a really good comp for him. 5'9", 204, and he just ran the same exact time that James White did. So talk about a comp for Chase Edmonds. Okay, same Rose. height, weight, and 40 time. So we'll see him scoring overtime in the Super Bowl one day is what you're saying. I, I wouldn't <laughs> discount that. Right. Okay, so now uh, on the line right now is Donnie Ernsberger. Out of Western Michigan, he's really a fullback slash H back candidate. Two hundred forty one pounds. You saw he was listed as TE nine. He's going to do alternate drills at tight end tomorrow. So he's right. one of the few running backs that are. Unless he's going to do the drills later. After this, we'll see. At any rate. Uh, Oklahoma Sooner, Dimitri Flowers on the line here, Charles Davis. Yeah, and I, the only reason I wanted to talk about him is we heard John Gruden wanting to go back to 1998 and old school football. This is an old school football player. He's a fullback, which you don't see much of in college football, but he also can get out of the backfield and catch the ball as well. So when you're looking for those Tommy Bohannon types and Patrick DeMarco types, this kid might check that box. It's Charles, I think he's he's versatile. No, 